Yo guys, how are you? This is Ethan. I'm an audacious fool, and I'm also a subliminal. Um, I'm here in Oakley Peak. This is actually an audacious Oakley Peak. Before we get too big here, we're just gonna go to browse runs. When you go to slope style, you will find this part. Now, it flows great. I left two features out that will be in there. Some will be added as well. Um, this park is going to grow huge. It's going to grow real big. Um, this is Nerdacious Oakley Peak Part 1. That's where you want to go. <clears throat> Anyways. Sorry for the burp. <laughs> Again, I'm Ethan with Nerdacious. Please play this park. Um, I also do edits, guys. Um, I'm going to do a quick little edit, and actually one of the edits you'll see in uh, Oakley Peak Part 2. Um, we plan on doing three parts. Um, <clears throat> the final part will just be Oakley Peak. But as you can see, there is a crap ton of different ways to go here. Um, I designed this so that it would be that way. Just right here, you see like six, seven different options. Um, and they all have their own little trails or runs. Um, I based it all off of um, pretty much two bigger runs that are the border of this park. Um, TBC, you can see I'm going to be building a lot of backcountry back there. And uh, actually after this trail, I'll show you guys. All through here, this is all park. And there is rails, jumps, wind lifts, natural features. Back and around so you guys can see it a little bit better this way. And that's off those, you know, six options that you got up here. Five, six options. And you can just see how it all brings it around. Using a bowl, the wind lift, so that you can play outside of here. And tie into this park, which this part of the park will definitely build through time but I don't want to build too much to recreate back again so yeah um, just to let you guys see a little bit more of the park um, I built this all off of flow and being able to use slope style backcountry slope style just something to create what you want your border to be and how you want to play it not just one option with the same run and the same jump and maybe three different features so yeah I hope you guys like the so far part of the park um yeah <clears throat> we're gonna just head back right up to the top real quick okay so there's two different entrances right here <clears throat> and I pretty much winded it as on from here, it's pretty much wound. You can use each part of the landing in which you want. Um, this plays out down and over here, which this is where we're going to do a little edit. But we're going to go back up and you can see again everything that's going on. Now, the left side of the park is only so far. The right side of the park, which is not going to be as big as what the left side is now, is still pretty huge, guys. You can use all of this right side of the park now. It will not be in the uh, in the competition and run that you guys can do. But once you guys are finished, you can play all of this. Now, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of something else. Okay, so this is this park, okay? If you take that point, pretty much on the top and the middle of your screen, okay? Just go towards that point. You're going to find a little white line that directs you. This is actually the beginning of where it starts you naturally in this game. This is where it drops you off. Now, I edited all of this, and I have a whole nother peak on this as well. 
you can see all of this. I built all of this. So all of this is just an extra little park. If you guys watch this video, you guys can see it. It just pretty much tells you, hey, this ain't it. There's another one, too, which I'll build little bonus extras, but this is just more of a bonus park. That's how I wanted this to be built. So we're going to follow that little white line back to the top. We're going to go to the feature that we were talking about. Now, if you select this line to go down in right here, okay? So you can land on this. You can take out this jump or these features through here and come through here and come through here. All right. I wanted to connect right over to here. And the way that I want to do that is a jump. And it's going to be really, really simple. I use not many hip kickers in this so I want this to be just a little hip kicker I think it'll work very well with the landing as well the first thing I'm going to do is though is oh well you can see I just did this and again guys this is nerdacious so, how we spell that is N-E-R-D-A-C-I-O-U-S. Sorry, guys. I just had to annoy one of the guys to watch my videos before. Don't spell anything, he says. Literally, your words are crippling. <laughs> Note to self, don't be a teacher. And that's okay. Just an editor. And a subliminal nerdacious kind of guy. So, you guys can see that I am now labeling this part two because that is going to be the next route for me. So, I'm going to let this uh, upload just for a second. And then you can find this on Nerdacious Oakley Peak Part 1. And my game needs to hurry up. Okay, so as we said before, I wanted to use this little area as a hit. And it's pretty easy. Gosh damn it. Are you fucking... Okay. I think I got it to go away. Thank God, because that was terrible. Alright. So, I'm going to use a kicker right here. It is that easy. I, I'm just using medium. And the reason is, is because it just throws me um, up. And it's not going to take me too far out. Which will play into this side of the run. Which, again, guys, there's a whole bunch of options to here. I used a little bit more over here as um, backcountry. But over here is more of a park site. Uh, style area and I put that jump down but before I get too ahead of myself one thing I'm just going to go ahead and do too is, is clear some of these trees I think that's about enough I don't want to do too much I don't use run-ins guys I will build my own run-in if need be I don't like using it that much though um I think the tree has to go. Definitely has to go. And why I say that is, is because it doesn't. If you look at the back part of this jump, I don't want it to sit in the curve of that. So it either has to be over here, which uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. 
look at it from back here. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like the natural place for it to be. So I'm just going to put it right about here. Not too far, not too close. Want it to be an easier feature. Not all features need to be easy, but it'd be nice if this one was easier. So we're going to just restart, let you guys see some more of the park. I'm actually going to do it from the booter up here. Here we go, Nerdacious Oakley Peak Part 1. I'm Ethan, but in the native tongue, they call me Bobby Ross for short. Because I am the Bob Ross of the snowboarding editing world. Please, you can put that in the mail. Uh, you guys can see a little bit more parts of my park. Now I took a little bit wider of a line just so that I can get in here a little bit better. Hit that rail right there. Drop right there. Alright. Again, that wasn't too hard to get into and that's kind of the key point of the jumps. I was really close. Yep, that's going to work. I already know it's going to work, but we're just going to have to check it and see. Maybe bring it back just a teeny bit. Maybe ride it a little too forward. Okay, buddy, I'm going to give you the rock, and then you're going to drop. I used a little bit less jump right there, just to see how that would work after the bobble. Sometimes you want to try those little bobbles in the flow of your park. Oh. Hit the rail. Yeah, I like that. I know that that works now, so I'm just going to bring it just a hair more forward, just so that you get a little bit more air and breathing time. And then what I'm going to do is, is I know that this is probably the slower way to go unless you hit it perfect and then it will be faster. So what I'm going to do is, is... Come in and look at the other approach. If I can go at the rail. Okay, so we're looking at the other approach, guys. And I'm doing this instead of editing. I'm letting you guys see the actual flow of my park. And I'm not just throwing together just little runs. This is pretty much a professional grade park. I haven't seen one as good in this game, but this game's a great game. So I'm rolling in this way. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty solid jump, which puts me right into here. Alright, guys. I hope you guys like this park. I hope you guys play this park. I hope you guys do your own edits of this park. Let me know what you think on Audacious. You can also find us at Subliminal Comics. My name is Ethan, but if you're native, I'm Bobby. And today, I'm signing out. Look forward to the new part, Oakley Peak Part 2. And this is Oakley Peak Part 1. Have a good one, guys.